Now moving overseas, a massive fire has engulfed a 27-story residential building in West London, burning up the entire building. Authorities have confirmed that there are fatalities. The exact number is unknown, but the toll could be high, with many reported not to have made it out. Kwon Jung Ho has this report. Just before 1 a.m. on Wednesday, firefighters were called out to tackle a fire in an apartment building in West London, but the flames quickly engulfed the whole building. As the fire grew, 40 fire engines and over 200 firefighters were called in to tackle the blaze. Dozens of residents were evacuated, but it quickly became apparent that many more were trapped in the building that contains 120 flats. Obviously, people were still sleeping um, on the higher floors, so they didn't have a clue what was going on. I'm not even sure if half of them got out, to be honest with you. There was kids at the window, there was people flashing their phone lights just to, for help, but the fire brigade couldn't get upstairs. The London Fire Commissioner confirmed that there had been fatalities, but the size and complexity of the building meant that it had been difficult to determine how many have died. The London Ambulance Service confirmed that over 50 people had been taken to local hospitals. As dawn broke, the fire was still raging. The cause of the fire is currently unknown, but it has emerged that a resident group had previously lodged complaints to the local council who owned the building after narrowly avoiding a fire in 2013 when faulty wiring caused power surges. Those who escaped the fire are also quoted to have said they did not hear a fire alarm and that they were only alerted to the fire by neighbours knocking on their doors. A major $13 million refurbishment had been completed last year, but questions had been raised about whether the safety standards were properly implemented during said renovation. The fire services are still trying to put the fire out and review the extent of the damage. For the British people who are still dealing with a series of recent terror attacks, it's another tragedy that they're having to confront. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.